But the big story tonight at Rosecroft Raceway is the victory of Robust Hanover in the Breeders' Crown Race for two-year-old pacing colts. A lot of happy people in the winner's circle, including driver John Campbell. Let's go to Kenny Rice in the winner's circle. Thank you, Sharon. Congratulations, John. What was the key to tonight's victory, do you think? Just a good colt. He hasn't raced that much, but he came to his speed real quick, and he's just a, a real good colt. That's the whole thing right there. You carry him on a straight course the whole time in this race. He looked impressive. You knew the big horse was on your outside coming up. Yeah, I knew he was following me, and I knew he was going to be the one to beat, and it was a hell of a horse race. That's all. I was lucky enough to the wire came up when it did. Souffle got out fast, and you made sure that your horse was in good position going down the back straight. Yeah, he's quite handy, and he got out of the gate a little better this heat than he did last time, and uh, I sent him on to the front, and uh, he hung a real game. How good do you think Robust Hanover is right now as a two-year-old looking ahead, maybe a three-year-old campaign? Well, from the starts he's had, he, he's got all kinds of potential. He, he uh, proved tonight he can go with the best there is when he uh, beat Barbary Spur, so he's got un unlimited potential. This is going to be old hat for you being in a winner's circle, isn't it? Uh, it never gets old. It's, uh, it's a great feeling. Thanks. Congratulations on a nice drive as always, John. Thank you, Kenny. John Campbell, winning driver, and this is a familiar sight for John Campbell, also a familiar sight dueling with his buddy and one of his top rivals down the stretch in Bill O'Donnell. Sharon? And thank you, Kenny. And uh, the odds on this horse were much shorter at post time than they were early on, and rightly so. He is the winner. Robust Hanover, the winner, paying 460, 260, and 240. Barbary Spur, the favorite, 240 and 220. Souffle got third, paying 260 to show the exacta, paid her huge $6. Well, there he is, he's Robust in. Hanover, the champion, two year old pacing colt of the Breeders' Crown, and we presume he will be the two year old pacing colt of the year, son of Warm Breeze. Uh, an $8,500 yearling, what a bargain they got. He's well-bred out of a great female family by a thoroughly respectable stallion, and boy, did they get themselves a bargain. Kenny Rice is enjoying the ceremonies in the winner's circle. Let's go to Kenny right now. Thanks, Sharon. It's always a happy time in the winner's circle. It certainly is tonight for Mr. Ron Carnegie and for Mr. Lofty Bruce, not only the, one of the owners, but also one of the trainers. Your impressions of your horse's race tonight? Well, like I said earlier, nothing really surprises me with this great, great little colt. Uh, you know, we bought him, and we bought him right, and I was kidding everybody at Harrisburg where the where the tent was because I understand they gave bargains away and incidentally I'd like to say hello to a dear friend and a, and a wonderful gentleman I know he's watching Mr. John Simpson he bred the horse and uh, I've known him a long while and it's a credit to his breeding establishment and uh, we just love the colt and he knows he's in good hands. Lofty congratulations Ron you told him just before we came on you said let's take one more look at that little horse dig in and hold off the big one for the victory. Yeah what's so impressive about him is his size he's a peanut He's a very small little horse, and to race so game against bigger horses, it's, he's just a terrific animal, and I just thank Lofty for doing such a grand job training him, and John for being the great driver that he is. It's a grand combination. Congratulations, Ron Carnegie, and, and also to Lofty Bruce. Incidentally, we owe a lot of credit to our groom, Red McPherson. This is not his Okay, thank you very much, guys. Congratulations, Sharon. And 